Hey, what's up everyone? Thunder Bob here, and tonight I am checking out the One Sauce again. Uh, I had some requests on my last video, and one of them was to show off the Coin Ops theme that's available in the One Sauce. I mostly focused on the Luna theme. I'm going to show you how to enable the different themes. And uh, for, first off, you go to the Themes menu, and from here you can choose one of four things: Luna, Coin Ops, Retro Arch, or Retro Player. CoinOps and Luna are the main two we're going to look at here. Uh, you select CoinOps, it'll reset, and then you have to back out. And basically, you hit the menu button to back out to the main um, Legends Ultimate menu. And then when you go back in, it will launch it in the CoinOps theme, which will look familiar to those that use CoinOps more regularly. Um, there's some benefits and some bad things about it. The main uh, first thing you'll notice here is some of the artwork is missing, like consoles and arcade look great, handhelds and computers though, like they don't have custom art here. I'm just going to go into arcade and show you how similar it is to um, the Luna build. So you've got your different uh, breakdowns here, systems, all games, uh, genres, collections, Still have the same games. It's just it's showing them more in that coin ops um, view. Just gonna cycle through, show you some of the videos. They they do give you like a nice little pop up that coin ops X doesn't have that gives you some information on the game, the year, the genre, um, manufacturer, that sort of thing, developer. So it's I think it's actually a little bit better than standard coin ops X in that regard. Some really good animation and video too here. And uh, just cycling through here, I mean there's tons and tons of games. You'll notice some here that aren't in the normal CoinOps X 4.5 build. There's some Naomi and some... Uh, I'll go down and actually show you them. And, well, let's jump into collections first. So here there's a ton of pre-built collections. Atari, Capcom, Data East, IREM, Sega, like every breakdown you could imagine. This is also available in the Luna theme, but it's just here, it's vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, one thing is the individual consoles don't have quite as many breakdowns, like at least currently there's no breakdown in the console for collections or um, uh, genres. Systems I find pretty interesting because if you're looking for particularly newer games, you can go into this and then go right down to like Naomi or um, some of the other newer boards and check out some of the Naomi games. Those are probably the newest running on the arcade build of the uh, the one sauce. I'm not actually going to show any games here. I really just want to show off the interface. I've got several videos that more focus on gameplay. Uh, Naomi, Dreamcast, PlayStation, Nintendo 64, all of those. So check out those. Right now I'm just kind of showing off the interface. Yeah, so now let's back out and let's show you kind of the... The One Sauce works really well in coin ops for arcade in particular. A lot of the others do not work as well. Like here's computers. And like, you'll notice the background art is kind of missing. It's just showing the video like full screen. Um, it's just, it doesn't work quite as well for like computers and consoles and a lot of... Uh, those type of games. And here I'm going to go down to consoles. And you can see here, um, works okay for consoles. About the same as Luna. And if you've got the genre, or not the genre, the uh, system here. And then you go into like Nintendo 64 and you can cycle through all the 64 games. Again, Luna and Coin Ops themes within the one sauce do not break down the console handhelds or computer games by genre they're only broken down by system maybe that'll come later i know there have been some uh people working on um some new builds so we'll, we'll see same thing for dreamcast if i go in there uh, it's not going to be broken down any further than just all the dreamcast games Here's PlayStation. I do really like the videos, the animation, the artwork they put together. It looks great in both Luna and 
uh, Queen Ops X. I personally like Luna a little better just because I've got a full build or close to it and uh, it looks better for a couple of systems in particular, the, the handhelds, the computer, uh, which you know I, I don't play a lot but uh, enough that I, I don't like the look of it here. And handhelds, again, just broken down by system, not broken down any further by genre, but it does have the lack of background art, it just has the video playing. Uh, yep. And uh, next I'm going to jump into the Luna build and just briefly, briefly show you the difference. And here we have the Luna interface. The games on it are the same, it's really just how it looks. Um, you know, you get a computer console handheld, uh, themes arcade again. Uh, if I go into computer, you'll notice it has like kind of unique artwork instead of having just the videos playing full screen. Um, so Luna does work a little bit better for ports, um, computers, handhelds in particular. You won't notice a huge difference other than, you know, the style. Here it's horizontal instead of vertical, and the videos are playing kind of like in a little screen instead of um, what they do with coin ops off to the side. Uh, it's really a preference at that point, but if you have handhelds or computers, uh, you may want to do the coin op. I'm sorry, you may want to do the uh, Luna build. If you're rocking just the arcade in particular, I think coin ops is fine. It's really a preference at that point, but if you're running the full build, I may recommend the Luna in particular. So I'm going to end it here. I am going to do another video showing off Open Bore. I had some people requesting a demo of how that runs. So expect a video on Open Bore. And if you have anything in particular you want to see, just let me know. Uh, I've been playing this a um, couple of times a week, and I really have been enjoying it. It's a great build if you've got a 1.0 console. Uh, definitely think about checking this out. I've got another video that shows how to install it. So keep an eye out. For more videos, if you like this, subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it, and thank you for watching.